Supreme Rising family, I pray that you guys are doing well this morning. I am doing wonderful. I wanted to come on and talk about something this morning for a little bit. I tell you, I was pressed to, I almost spoke about it last night, but I said, no, I just wait till in the morning because I was late watching this documentary called Aftershock. And I want to tell you, I was not shocked, but I was I was agitated. I was agitated. I had heard about this documentary and I finally got a chance to to actually watch it. And I tell you it made my blood boil. It it really did. Like I said, not that I was shocked about it because I I was al already uh familiar with what has been taking place and what the pharmaceutical and medical systems have been doing to black pregnant women for quite some time. I am fully aware of the death rate of pregnant black women when they go in to deliver their babies in this evil system. But just to hear, hear it laid out in this documentary just 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 brought it all home it just made it more real to me and i tell you my husband's my husband was more fumed than i was um then when i saw the statistics statistics let me get my words right in tulsa oklahoma with me being aware of the deep-rooted racism that has been taking place in Tulsa, Oklahoma for centuries, it just fueled me even more. It was actually heartbreaking. But knowing that we're in the last three months of 2022, and it has been, we have, many of us have been made aware that they are going to be sharing truths with us they got in a rapid pace in these last three months we're gonna find out about everything it's all coming out they have to give us the truth and they're laying it out in many ways for us to get it so and then i've known for quite some time that most of the cesarean uh, sections that were given to black women were unnecessary. They were absolutely unnecessary. I saw in the documentary, if I'm repeating it correctly, where pharmaceutical slash medical systems, more so medical systems than doctors, um, nurse practitioners, et cetera, make about 50% more money if they can cut you instead of you delivering in a normal uh, vaginal birth. And I have known that for quite some time. I've been told that um, several times in the past that that is exactly what has been taking place. They have been cutting black women manipulating them into agreeing to have a cesarean section when it was definitely unnecessary more black women have died during childbirth or right after childbirth for reasons that could have been avoided family this is this is horrible this is tragic this is unacceptable 
but this is what has been taking place and I'm sure still is taking place. Many black pregnant women today though are using midwives and doulas as we awaken to the reality that these things have been taking place and how they have used us to experiment for centuries. The fact that they understand our superiority in our anatomy and our physical bodies and even in intellect, which they play that down unless it's necessary. So using us as guinea pigs to help their women become more healthy and more protected. They use black women to test so that they can better help their own women. And this has been going on for centuries. The fact that they have been saying that we, we can tolerate more pain than anyone, that our pain tolerance is exceptional because of our melanated bodies, that we don't feel pain. Black women, we, we because of our anatomy, we don't feel pain as, as other races do in these processes. And they've been, they've tagged us to, to, to accept being used in these processes. Horrendous. That is, it's just horrendous. But now they are coming out and they are telling the truth about what they have been doing for many, many, many years. And family, we need to know. I totally disagree with anyone who thinks we need to ignore what has happened to us and what is still happening to us. I have a problem with anyone who thinks that we do not have the right to know. We do not have the right to have this information. How are you going to know what's, where we're going and understand it if you can't know or don't know where we come from? If you don't know our history. Some call it history. I call it herstory. If you don't understand, know and understand what happened, how are we going to begin to understand what's coming? What happened before, then what's coming ahead? And I mean, these things are still taking place right now in real time. So, of course, we want to walk into this glorious place and many of us are already here but we still got have these things going on and it's just in my uh, humble opinion it is almost impossible to just close your eyes and ignore what you're actually seeing around you even though some want to classify it as an illusion many things are an illusion but living in real time right now, these things are still happening to us. We're still feeling things. You know, we're still seeing things. And it's, I know there's a, a struggle for some right now to try to understand how we are to move in these times. But I'm going to tell you what. These things are still happening and they're happening right now to our family. And we can walk around and, and pretend that it's not. It is. It is. And I believe that we have the responsibility to respond in a way that is going to make a difference and pull us out. And I always say we have help right now. We do. The help is here. But we cannot just walk around as if none of these things are happening. Many things are happening to our own family members right in front of us, in our direct family space. Are we going to act like we don't see that? 
Are we going to act like it's all an illusion and it, there is no responsibility for us to respond in a proper manner? So everybody has an opinion. Every, everybody's a philosopher for how to respond in these times. Yet these times are setting a precedence because it's never happened before. So I have a problem with anyone who thinks that they know know it all and 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 thinks that the way that they think we should respond is the gospel. This th these things have never happened before. This is the first time in the universe that what's taking place has taken place. So we can't say for sure how everyone is supposed to move. That is ludicrous, absolutely ludicrous. So I say while we're living you know, in real time, these things are happening. We do have a responsibility to respond in a healthy way. To do what we need to do to protect ourselves. And of course, utilize the help that is now here. But we don't sit idle and do nothing in many of these instances. Does not make any sense at all. So yes, they have to tell us what they have been doing and what they are still doing in many in many cases. And it's up to us to decide how we're going to respond to it. I, for one, I'm not going to ignore it. I, I'm going to absorb the information because the information is, is, is real and it's necessary. And then I will um, figure out and decide how to move. But this, these things are still happening. I have young female family members that are still having babies. They're still going into these hospitals. And of course, being at the level of knowledge where I am today, I am advising them and make, giving them suggestions. You know, however they have to make the decision, but I am doing the best that I can to make my family and friends aware of what's taking place on this planet with these evils. So guys, I wanted to just come on just for a little bit and talk about the documentary Aftershock and that topic. It is, it is a documentary that I would recommend you guys watching. And I'm not exactly sure where it's all, you know, where to find it. I know we found it on the, the fire stick last night so and more than likely it's in a few places but it's called um aftershock and it is quite humbling if you are a black woman in childbearing years you definitely need to see this documentary definitely and tell all your sisters and brothers because our family need to be aware of what has been taking place on this planet, what they have been doing to us for centuries. So guys, watch this documentary. Find it. It's out there. And sit down and, and watch it. And if you're in Tulsa, Oklahoma, watch this video, this documentary. <laughs> and I, you know, I think I've said enough. I, I think I've said enough. Guys, I love you. As I always say, I'm going to ask you to like this video. Because when you like it, others can see it. Share it as well. Because when you share it, more people can see it. And I appreciate you very much for tapping in to, to get this information. Um, I, I'm understanding a lot of people are talking about the... Um, documentary but there's so many of us who may not even be aware may not have even heard and guys you are the ones I really want to to get you know get this information because I want us all to know what is taking place again like the video I appreciate it so much mm -hmm. and I'm gonna tell you guys continue to get some sun I know we're uh, embarking upon uh, coolers times uh, 
but whenever the sun is out guys we need to get out and get some continue to get your vitamin d continue to walk in righteousness and love one another i'm gonna sign out now i'm gonna say <laughs> assalamu alaikum to you namaste ashe ashe and ashe i love you guys keep your head up stay positive and always do the right thing. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.